Did I didn't buy a whole bunch of them. Did you buy the milk kit? I bought one milk kit, but I want to I want to stock up on the plastic. Did you hear what's happening? Yeah, they uh, they raided polymer eighty. But now they're coming to the people who bought them. Oh, they are. They're like coming to your house. And I'm coming to my house. Yeah. Anyway, um, the seriously, seriously, watch some videos because they're basically saying, like, they had videos like guidelines. Like, if, if, if the ATF comes to your house, like, this is what you need to do. I watched one today. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we're, Would you like a mint? We are on. <laughs> they have THC in them. Really? We are on the Donkey Kong. Welcome back, Skater Guy. <laughs> Just figured I'd throw this on there. We got Mark and Claire. Jeff oh. Phillips is our guest. Fuck, this fucking thing paused. This son of a bitch. <laughs> I hate when it does this. Uh, it's because you weren't set yet. It's my fault. Me? Yeah, it's my fault because when this thing moves, give yourself some more wire because you're gonna lose it again. When that thing moves, give my. Oh, I jiggled it. When that moves, get it that moves get this. that gear away from it. When that thing moves, it's, it pauses this. But we were still recording on the video over there. So I have a um, CC scope in. Oh, I'm jealous of you. How long have you been doing cutting? Alright, we're back on now. Sorry. Let's get it on again. Hello? Guest Jeff Phillips, we have Mark McClure, Josh Duffy, and myself, I'm Dave. Um, so, uh, Bert, you guys were in the middle of a conversation about guns. You can finish that if you'd like. I don't, I don't mind. Uh, <laughs> guns are fun. If you, if you want to sell one, let me know. Okay. <laughs> Think about it. I don't, I don't believe you don't want to sell one. I would also buy one. this temperature <laughs> yeah. of America. If you want to sell two. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking for one too, but they're they're just too fucking pricey. All right, I'll send you but the link on lowers. What do you think about uh, Anderson Manufacturing, in Hebrew, Kentucky? <sighs> right now, I'd buy one since it's probably no. I tried to. I went to the gun show in Sharonville last mm -hmm. week, and I, he goes, "Okay, for for six hundred twenty dollars, you get the whole rifle, sixteen inch barrel." Yeah. And I was like, "Fuck yeah, let's do that." And then I I start talking to the guy. I said, "Why is it so cheap?" He's like, mm -hmm. "It's manufactured right in Hebrew, Kentucky." Yeah. So I was like, "What's stopping me from just going there and getting one?" He goes, "It's not a store. It's just where they manufacture." Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. Yeah. I was like, sign me up. So I gave him the money, or I didn't even give him the money yet. He, he runs the check on me, mm -hmm. and it says that uh, they put a five-day hold on me. So I Googled it, because I, I got concerned, because yeah. I've, I've only bought one gun. Mm -hmm. I had no problems buying that. I walked out of the gun show with that. Yeah. And so I uh, I was like, hey, I was like, should I be concerned? And he goes, no. I was like, I have police officers that don't get cleared for five days. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, what's the deal? He goes, eh, it could be a lot of things, and I was like, I was like, because I'm not one, I'm not posting on Facebook. Like, oh, we're cool, yeah. cool. you know what I mean? Well, it could be your name's place of someone else that committed a crime. I've had that. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, the, I googled it and it said that because everybody wants to buy a gun now because of Joe Biden, mm -hmm. that they're just, the FBI is just backed up. Yeah, it could be. like they're slammed. Oh my God! So well, he's literally trying to. He's trying to get rid of AR-15s. Uh, he's trying to put a tax stamp on any like so. So I got several things done to my gun. Each thing that I have done, two hundred dollars. Yeah, two hundred dollars. So my gun that was already kind of expensive is tripled yeah. in if he if he imposes this on us. Yeah, which is fucking ridiculous. It only hurts poor people. Literally, yeah. the people who need guns the most are poor people in bad neighborhoods. Yep. And uh, yeah, absolutely. Other than that's military and law enforcement, hands down, it's poor people. And uh, and that's all that does is just keep poor people because poor people can't afford a hundred dollar magazine or. A, a, a funny little light like I got on mine, but anyways, I don't want to make this whole thing a discussion <laughs> on guns. I just it's it's cool that you have so many and that you've been collecting. We'll, we'll talk about it after. All right, that's that's good. Good. Anyway, welcome over today. We haven't seen it in a long, long time. Yeah. It's been uh, Jesus. I mean, I probably have. I've even... seen it a couple weddings here and there. Yeah. Out and about, but it's been fuck a grip. Uh -huh. We've hung out. Uh, we kind of one of these things is yeah. Barrel that thing right in your right in my pie hole. Suck it. Fuck. Yeah. Right when he moved it? No, it's this. It's all good. I can and fill fill the empty space. Are we gonna start all that over again? No. Oh, it's still there. It's recording. I, I just honestly pulled empty space out, but that's gonna be good. Um. So fucking you, right, Amelia, right? Yeah. Try a little, try a little tug of that. So this fucker, raspberry sour. Sounds disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. And you chose you this. like sour stuff. Yeah, I I like yeah, everything. Yeah. That, you know what barley wine is? Mm, I don't like so. Huh. Oh, it smells like fucking tomatoes. Yeah. No, it doesn't. It smells like fucking V8, <laughs> dude. That smells like fucking V8. Here. 
All day. This smells like That's the sour smell. Oh, that smells good. No, I'll take it. Drink it. No, I'm not going to That actually tastes great, but it smells like V8. It's like drinking a Warhead. <laughs> it's an acquired thing. Yeah. If you like drinking a Warhead, yeah, I kind of, I yeah. get that. Get that. It's pretty good. I don't know if I can drink a lot of that. Wow. The aftertaste is there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. If you've never had heartburn, you will. <laughs> oh, I get heartburn all the time. Yeah. <laughs> From tomatoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Because tomatoes are acidic. Yeah, exactly. That's why a lot of tomatoes don't come in cans, they come in jars. Yeah, tomatoes suck. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, so, a little bit background. You're Amelia. Yep. Um, started skating with Mark and them back in the day. That's how we all kind of linked up when the park got built. Yep. That's how we all. Did our little beach mount fucking click. You're in a bunch of the parts of uh, B mount videos, B mount parts. Uh, a lot of the shit Ainge put out there on a bunch of YouTube clips. Did you bring that footage from? No, I. Do you have a camera? I don't have one that plays a tape. Yeah, so that's what I got. I got okay, it. the mini DV. I have a shitload of mini DV tapes. Yeah, Josh has the camera. No. Oh, did you get rid of it? busted it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I found it There's in the dishwasher in pieces. I, I, I have one, but it doesn't have a battery, so I think you can hook it up to a TV and watch it or something. What women it's love to sit in a long shit. time. It sucks because I was yeah, so poor when I was younger. I would retape over my tapes because I couldn't afford to buy new ones. Yeah. Uh, so, but I still have so often you get the ghost skater yeah. in the background? Oh, yeah. uh, I know I have. Uh, it doesn't see that before. It doesn't right? completely erase, and all of a sudden you'll see like another skateboard in the corner. You're like, what? What? Did, I, did you see that? <laughs> I have uh, Cubby's front side flip at Beach Acres. No, yeah, you're talking about that. Well, I, tell me the story. Is it over the pyramid? Oh, oh no, like corner. in that corner, like quarter pipe. The corner oh, quarter okay. pipe, dude. It's, yep. And he was like up over coping, like his. Oh, it's huge. It's huge, and he he folds it right between his legs. Nice. It's just dude, yeah. butter. Yeah, I know. He was doing that, and then I just happened to be at the park, and I mean I knew him and stuff like that, but he was doing it with no one there, and then I just started filming. Will you grab me a can? Yeah, you want to try one of these? What is, yeah, I'll try one. What else you got in there? Miller Lite, uh, Heineken. Oh, I have never had this beer. I, I remember this. this. These are IPAs, so you don't like IPAs. I'll do a Miller if you got one. Yeah. That sour shit still. Warheads to water. <laughs> I do. I drink like a few shit. The bad thing about this stuff is it's so strong that like going from this to like Miller Lite or Coors Light or something, it makes it taste weird. Yeah. Jeff, did you know that Carl Grizzlebeck said? Okay. I do. Uh, you know the story then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, actually, I was really bummed out about his uh, memorial because uh, someone started, like, is it a GoFundMe page? And uh, I watched that, and it said in the corner, like, you know, stay tuned to this page for, like, when the memorial was. And then out of nowhere, I was actually, remember Gary Bella? Yeah. I was hanging out with him, and then uh, Ben Millen called us and was like, yeah, we're at the memorial. Where are you at? It's like, we oh, watched this there? page. Yeah. yeah. I and didn't so, see him. I was in the front row, so I couldn't see him behind me. No, no uh, so we found out about it like when it was like almost over um so me and gary actually did go uh, and we it was like very in i saw auto yeah uh, was well he's on stage I, I mean it was over they were packing up oh like, okay. when i got there so that sucked oh okay oh well there was a thing afterwards at a school, high school that's what we showed up to yeah, yeah. oh okay yeah but that cage like i guess they just never updated it so i never heard anything about it and then yeah sucked missed it his wife's doing all right. Yeah, the kids are doing all right. Like phenomenally good. I saw her there. I didn't think she'd remember me, so I mean, that's kind of said hi. But so is that how you kind of got in hanging out with all these guys? It was like through Carl. Uh, well, through usually, how did you too. start skateboarding? First of all, like, uh, I started in eighth grade. Uh, this kid at school uh, named Phil always talked about it, and uh, oh, ended up hanging with him, going to his house, and uh, I think I had. My parents bought me like a shitty mash board or something. Nice. And then started so doing nice. that. Um, Did it have a dragon on it? I don't remember that one. I I almost want to say it was used or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. But single yeah. tail? No, it was double. Oh, okay. But uh, damn, yeah, I started skating. I, I don't think I ever saw a national That's like double tail. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I think it was like the newer like Walmart ones. Oh, like like it was, it, you know, I think it was a very flex. Yeah, yeah it wasn't a national model. But yeah, I started on that, and then um, yeah, just went from there. I remember coming home. From, I think my mom picked me up from school, and we were coming home through Amelia, and then 
I saw the ramps at Skate Fest in Amelia, and then like holy shit, like take me home, get my board, and then nice. she took me up there, and then that's how I met it. all you guys. I remember the very first time I went up to that Skate Fest, I saw you with camo pants on. <laughs> and, uh, Wearing camo pants yeah. today, keeping it real. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember seeing you uh, yelling, "Corn is life." Oh, <laughs> like the my corn face. Like, Dude, I'm fucking scared of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> like spikes in his lips and stuff. Yep, you uh, did. You had like inch yeah. long spikes in your lips. Wow. Still have the hold to prove it. Yep. Occasionally, I'll have someone go, "What is that?" I'm like, oh, "I used to have piercings." <laughs> yeah. The holes don't go away, kids. Those. Those skate fest man were quite popular. Oh yeah, it was awesome. I loved it. Yeah, that. So is that how? That's like what sparked the interest. You just saw it out. out, of, out of uh, I was already skating before that. Yeah. Um, I wasn't very good or anything like that. I think I had like a box on my parents' street. Nice. Um, which is weird. I went over there a couple weeks ago. They repaved my parents' street in like I was in high school, so maybe ninth or tenth grade. Um, I pressed a bearing and a piece of hardware into the concrete or the asphalt when they repaved it and it's still there. Oh wow, you gotta get a picture of that. Yeah, yeah for sure. It's gonna be all rusty and stuff? Yeah. Wow, that's impressive that it's still there. But yeah, I had that shitty board. I think I did get a better board. I actually bought it. My very first board was a uh, World Industries. Um, my dad took me to Matt Skate Shop when uh, it was for my birthday or something like that. So I skated that one for a while. Um, remember the nose got really chipped, and uh, he had like a what's it called like a scroll saw. What's the like the vertical ones? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, band saw. Yeah, but um, it was uh, the nose started getting really chipped, so I got a marker and like traced the line right before the chips, and I asked my dad to like cut it so it wouldn't have chips in that anymore. Huh. And uh, <laughs> That's so he like went like in the shed, and then he comes, hacks. he comes back out, and he had fucking cut the nose off. So like uh, I guess since the marker was so dark, like you couldn't see it on the grip tape, and I was like, "What the fuck?" I think I cried or something. I was like, so <laughs> like "What the fuck did you do?" <laughs> it sucks so bad. And then, uh, I think he felt he felt really bad, and then he went and got me another one. But That's yeah, awesome. I think I, that was the only time I went to Matt's skate shop. So you didn't explain what you wanted. You just uh, like I mean, I drew a line. Yeah, like I thought that he would, see, that he would see it, but oh, okay. I guess you know, grip tape's black, and then black marker. Yeah, well, I mean, that's kind of like yeah. how you can ghost crushed. decorate your board. I had a skateboard ran over at Wendy's on Beach Run one time by a van, and I, I was I was like 13 years old, and I was I was like crying. I was like, yeah, oh yeah. Do you know how hard it is when you get a skateboard? Yeah. Like, like I'm fucked here, fucking dick. Like, oh, that and oh, that was the worst day ever. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. That skate fest is how I know everybody. That's crazy. I think what's so funny too about uh, like oh, how hard it was to come by a board, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. But yet at the same time, like we lived in that era to where like throwing your board was like the cool thing to do when you didn't land something, right? Just absolutely destroying it, getting pissed off. Was it Carrie Getz, right? Yeah, he was Getz. famous for it. I guarantee you, like Toy Machine sold like what <laughs> twenty more million decks a year just because they sponsored that one guy. Got is that like their marketing idea? Like they just uh, grab him out on camera? Right, like snap I think it was more of like, uh, he's gonna get pissed, be ready to film it. Yep. It's gonna be gold. But the idea of like focusing your board or snapping your board, like that became a trend there for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I the audio on this one's gonna suck. I'm sorry. Oh, this is like fucking up all over the place. But we got videos going, so you're good. Just keep rolling. Yeah. Actually, I've never broken a board, I've cracked one. But what? I never like yeah. Yeah, when I was board. light, you never broke a board. Uh, yeah, I've done that, but I've never like not landed, you know, on bolts and snapped the board, like snapped the tail off or something. Mm. It's always weighed like a hundred pounds. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I, I I was really hard for me to break a board. The only time I once I got into uh, skating uh, like mini is when I started cracking them because I landed if yeah. I land them upside down or if I landed on the coping too hard, it would it would crack. Yep. But it's a kick flip rocks. I've had like Rock literal rolls, so got me. 15 minute angry at my board sessions where I'm just like hitting on the side of a brick, like building <laughs> it, just like, ah! Yeah, I see, I couldn't afford to do that back then. Like, I mean, I had a job at 14, but still, like, it was never, I don't know, this computer's fucked. Piss me off. The audio's gonna be fucked up, but whatever. Are you um, just gonna take the audio? Can you take the audio off that? 
Well, we'll figure it out. There's got to be a way to do that. <laughs> Amateur podcast hour. It um, is. Well, that's what happens. I, I don't know. It's it's you just gotta, you gotta build a studio now. Yeah. Absolutely. The um, like breaking boards, like I, it was really hard for me. Like I I I remember even like doing walls and shit. I never broke boards. Yeah, I never did either. I imagine you had no problem breaking boards, right? Uh, yeah. But usually it was more like the, the tails would snap because yeah. I was constantly Yeah, fighting. I mean, you're just doing the bigger I stuff. I was trying and... to jump down yeah. the biggest yeah. crap. And then when I did get into mini ramp, you know, I would go hit these huge kickflip the rocks and that's basically you slamming right down into the middle of your board. So I would crack them that way too. Yeah, I was. I never really did big stuff. Maybe early on, but my ankles were always so bad. Really? Break your ankles, but injuries? I never broke anything. Um, I just had to, I sprained my ankles all around. Roll on, fuck, I roll on the all the time. My wife just walked out of the door the other day, literally fell on the front yard, and I didn't know what the fuck's going on. I was in the house, and she, like, calls me. And I'm like, how the fuck is she calling me? And I, she's, like, laying in the front yard. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? She's like, I just hurt my ankle so bad. Help me up. So I get her up. She goes inside her, just balloons up. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, my oh, God. No. Oh, you rolled your ankle. You'll be fine. And yeah. she's like, is it broken? I was like, nah, nah. <laughs> I've done it a hundred times. <laughs> like, so I, I don't know if you know this, but rolling your ankle is actually worse than breaking it. Yeah, it than takes longer to heal, so yeah. But yeah, it always stretch that it gets weaker every time, so. Ugh. Yeah, constant. I, just, I just skated switch. <laughs> See, I can never skate switch. In my head, I'm like, like oh, the bad one's got to be in the back yeah. now. That's See, like all your pressure's on that back leg, though. It was always this ankle, so I could never... Or this ankle. Man, I just upload the fucking YouTube and not even fucking... <laughs> Jesus Did Christ. Did you guys ever skate through sprains? Like, 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 say you rolled your ankle and you called it a day, but the next day you're like, yeah, I've never, screw it, I'm going skating? I've never taken a day off of skateboard for yeah. a sprained ankle. Oh, I've had... You know, you buy a car and I didn't take the next day off. Right, yeah. Well, you were skating with a broken arm and a bone sticking out of your fucking arm. No, 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 you got the story wrong. The stitches or whatever yeah. was opened up. I pulled the stitches out but doing an ollie. My Garrett heart. was... Yeah. Notorious for that. Do you remember Garrett wearing an air cast like for like a straight two year period? That's pretty much how it was too. See, every time I sprained my ankle, it was bad enough where I had to have an air cast or something. Uh, mine were never that bad, I guess. Yeah. yeah. He like yeah, lived, he lived, him, lived in an air cast. Dude, I, think I didn't it, know an air cast even existed. In yep. turn lane, like the first B Mom video, if you look at his footage, he's constantly got that but thing. Dude, on. he fucking did huge oh, yeah. shit though, like. His pop is insane. Like that dude I'm got Ollie about, like like this standing still. I'm talking when he was that tall, like when he was little, little. Like he was constantly yeah. like seventh grade, he was constantly in an air cast. We used to like go to King's Island and he would wear the air cast and then hop in a wheelchair to where we could <laughs> skip the lines. What an evil Jesus yeah. idea. Last bad time I really did it was at uh, Paul Brown Stadium. Those curb ledges. Oh, I love this. I don't place. know what I don't know what I was trying or whatever, but I fell and I fell like this way, and the inside of my ankle touched the inside of this. Oh, and oh my God. God! I think you knew about that. Um, we were just young. Uh, ben Millman was driving. Uh, we didn't know what to do. We didn't have cell phones or anything, so he drove me. The closest person I knew was uh, Elliot Oski's house. Oh yeah. So they drove me there, and uh, I think my parents came, picked me up, took me to the hospital. And yeah, I was out for like eight months because of that one. Wow. Yeah. That, I've never heard of even oh, ankle was, moving that far. I have a lot of pictures from it. It bruised Jesus. my, it bruised almost up to my knee. Wow. Just because of all the ligaments and stuff like that. Oh my and God. And I think that actually was, I just had an air cast, but um, I believe that was just a fracture. I had a small fracture, but it wasn't big enough to. Isn't that anything. fucking weird how like, we could, you can fall and get hurt so badly skateboarding, but then. We were, I guess it's just being young, and you just yeah. get, you bounce back to that shit pretty easy. Yeah. Is that why you maybe started skating like mini a little bit more? Oh, yeah, you, definitely. You, because you yeah. rocked a mini when that park got built. Like, you were killing it in that thing. Oh, that was my favorite. We had a diaper park, right? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. used to skate for a long time. It, it's it's going? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, probably a couple uh, years now. Good riddance. That thing sucked. Oh, man, I love that place. That was nice. nice. Ring. Nice. Well, it's yeah, around nice everywhere, ring. man. Yeah, yeah. That mini was cool, though. It, it did have a... Who power slid the mini ramp? Was that Brian Ames? Yeah. 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 He, did. he fucking power slid. It was so slick. He power slid yeah. across, the, the, across the length of the fucking... Wow. He like ollied up and sideways all the way across. Wait, I just like that little down ledge. Like in the middle. Yeah. Uh, 
not there. No, I, 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 I know, I know, I just made fun of that park, but yeah. I used to go there like three days, three yeah. days a week. So, I really how much did I really hate it? I really, I think I went skate that park like once or twice. Oh, and I love the transition. You see Matt Coffee there? Rest in peace, Matt Coffee. Yeah, I yeah, poor bastard. I know you, you were close to Matt Coffee yep. too. That was that was sad, man. Oh, yeah. like, wrecked the motorcycle. Yep. Fucking shot off into a tree. Like fuck. That was terrible. Um, yeah, I mean, I I'd, t- I'd talked to Matt. He called me what fucking a, a month before yep. and was like, hey, I just took up snowboarding. Like, I know you <laughs> snowboard, man. Let's fucking go. I'm like, all right, dude. Yeah. I was like, call me back and we'll go next like one of these weekends. And then fucking here, like my, I think you called me and I'm sitting there with my wife like, what the. Well, I was like, I just talked to him. We were supposed to go snowboarding like, yep. next week or something. Yeah, I, I talked to him a couple days before. I just got a new bike, and uh, he, we were going to meet up and ride and stuff, and it didn't work out, but yeah, a couple days later. Man. I, I believe that was on a cross rocket. Yeah, yeah he it took off on bike. a... It was somebody else's bike. Yeah, he was, yeah when he, he was, was all yeah. drunk, being crazy, typical Matt. Yeah. Yep. I went to his funeral. It was, uh, yeah, yeah, it was we did too. sad. I mean, he looked... Uh, it was an open casket. I mean, it looked like he was completely fine. Like he had cast on his arm, but other than that, he looked, you know. Yeah, they covered his uh, coffin, or Mark, in all skate stickers. Yeah. And yeah. then he was buried in his I leather. Show leather. I didn't even know. Nobody told yeah. me. Or he, I found out. Uh, oh, not from the they buried him in his leather jacket. <laughs> yeah, that punk leather punk. jacket. He had fucking all that punked out shit on him. Like, that dude I, had potential, man. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Like he, he was could, fucking If, he, if awesome. he made his way to California, we would... His life would have been changed. Yep. He just... You know, he, he's stuck in East Gate Milford. <laughs> like, it's, this it's is, like this hole. It's like that uh, Offspring song. Jenny got out. <laughs> like, I'm gonna try to unplug your uh, mic just for a second. Sorry. But yeah, dude, Matt, I, I miss that fool, dude. He was just wild. I think the worst part of that funeral was seeing how little his kid was. Yeah, yeah. How oh, oh, young is this kid? At the time, maybe like not two, like a baby or two. Yeah. Mm. I I don't even. Yeah, no, she. She I don't think she was two years old. No, she no. I think she was two. Two or three in between there. That still that just sucked. Um. But I mean, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Fuck. So we don't. Yeah, you're unplugged right now. I'm just gonna see if that is. The, Culprit. Wait, might, might be a don't get on motorcycles and try and go 100 miles per hour. This, with your this hammer, will pick you up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, uh, I mean, was he really that drunk? I mean, is that verified or is that just what you think? I mean, people I, at the party, it was at a party. Yeah, I, like, yeah. And he, somebody got a new crotch rocket and he took off on it. Yeah. And he's like, oh, let me try it. And I think it was on round bottom. Like, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was on round bottom. He took off like 100 miles an hour on round bottom. The shitty thing is, he got in the wreck and got thrown in the woods, and I think he just got like hit. Stomach real hard. They told so me he, had it he hit the tree so hard as a order yeah, to ruptured his aorta, aorta, which would be so he just kind of like laid there. Well, I I heard it was instantaneous. Yeah, really? that's what I, I heard. heard. Mikey, Mike Stacy told Stacey, us that. Yeah, he was like, yeah, it's. Um, well, yeah, if your body uh, goes through so much pain, you'll shut down, you'll pass out. Yeah, that's a failsafe. God Himself, I guess, <laughs> built into our systems. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's. It, well, from what I heard, it was so. It basically, he hit the tree so hard when it ruptures his aorta, it literally he would have bled out within seconds. Yeah, and he would have been uh, just... Yeah, last time I saw him, he was living um, by Stanley's on Eastern Avenue. Yeah, and uh, yeah. he had this huge party at his house, and uh, I remember this dude was there, like kind of being an asshole to everybody. And me and Matt were like, it was a two-story house, so we were like, at the end of the night, we're walking down around the bottom of the house, and we see that dude leaning out the window, like puking. And we had just ordered pizza, and so Matt gets this piece of pizza in his hand, and like the guy's puking out the window, and he just throws this pizza up, and the slice like it fucking stuck to this guy's face, and it <laughs> fell down. And we like fucking ran, and we're like laughing our asses off. The guy, like, oh my god. Was trying to find us and stuff, but god. fucking nailed this guy right in the face. I swear it like stuck for a second. <laughs> Same, Dude, same house he had a party. Ah. This is the last time I saw him. Is uh, we ended up like 
all of us were down in the basement, like he was playing his drums or whatever, and me and him started messing around, just pushing each other. Yeah. Next thing you know, we were like, pretended we were in the octagon, so we had like 20 people surrounding <laughs> us. Five club. And yeah, well, basically, more or less, just had like a wrestling match in front of everybody, and some super drunk asshole was there who, uh, you know, he's all testosterone up. And wants to, same guy. Wants to go next. And I'm, Matt, Matt's like, nah, fuck you, fuck off, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I'll fucking, I'll wrestle you, man, whatever, come on, bring it. And this, I pinned this guy, and he legitimately got pissed. You know, like, once it's no longer wrestling, yeah. and he wants to fight. So as soon as this guy started to get too aggressive, and Matt knew, like, it was about to turn into a fight, Matt pushed him off yep. and basically told him to get the fuck out. And then that's when the guy, I think, swung at Matt, and then darted off, like ran away after he swung at Matt. So Matt runs up the stairs, jumps the fence, tackles the guy in his front yard, and starts hitting the guy. And then the cops show up. <laughs> Matt's like explaining to the cops, like, hey, I just had to kick this motherfucker out. Like he was just trying to assault one of my friends. Matt didn't get in trouble, goes back in and drinks. And that was the like, party he continued. Was, dude, he, I have seen Matt beat up people <laughs> so many times. Weird, he's the nicest dude. It oh, was, it, no, no, like, that's yeah. what I'm saying, like, but he was, it was never, was it when he started anything or yeah. something escalated? He was never a bully. Yeah. It was always him defending yeah. someone. Literally, like, Alexa, do you remember, remember Alexa? She, dude, he and my Stacy and somebody else. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> yeah, I remember her. She's, she's here right now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she's she, she, um... Somebody like assaulted her somewhere, and like <clears throat> Mike Stacy, I believe, Matt Crompy, and somebody else like went up and they beat the living shit out of this dude. I mean, beat him down and just left him there, <laughs> like, like badly. But I mean, he like literally assaulted a woman, yeah. so it was, you know, it was a little bit different. But it, it, it was, it was crazy. Like, <laughs> but he, like I said, like the the nicest dude in the world. I he mean, bought, did you sell your car to him? Yeah, the Thunderbird. Yeah. Yeah, I sold him that your old Integra that you sold me. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, yeah. I sold it to him and he came back because you know he was always, he was always mechanically inclined. He sold it somebody else, and I wasn't. And he came came at me and he's like, "Do you realize that your six cylinder has only been running on three <laughs> cylinders?" Yeah, and I was like, "I don't even know what you're talking about." Yeah, we yeah. took that to Louisville a lot. Yeah, that thing. Oh my God, Louisville! So if anyone doesn't know about Louisville, that shit. He called it. That was like the first part, like Betty. I think is what he ended up like naming it. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, Black Betty. That that park is wild. I remember you and I drinking with Michelle one night and then took off and at fucking the midnight and drove down to Louisville. This is awesome. I had lights. Right. Well, it was open 24 hours. So, like, we got there like 2 a.m. We've all had a Louisville story. You know? Yeah. I remember Mark's Louisville story was coffee and I did. Oh, told. <laughs> <laughs> I had more than that. I can't right. believe how many times you guys have been to Skatopia. I went been once. Yeah, Mark's I, the one. Mark's, Mark's the trucker that's been there. Been, been oh, there. first time I went was with you, and you, and um, all three of us. Yeah, Matt Mahan. Oh, okay. Uh, oh God. Yeah, I don't even want to see him at Skatopia. <laughs> Mahan. Uh, that was the, uh, Matt Mahan. <laughs> was there a punk Chris. rocker there with us who didn't even skate? He had a black. One of Matt's friends. Yeah. I remember that dude. How was yeah. wearing leather? Yeah. yeah. One eye Timmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was when I Timmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a glass eye and his. I know. I, I and there was three fingers. I, I went to Minnesota where he lives, and I met him in Minnesota. You know how he lost that eye? No. Some random black dude. So he's blonde hair, blue eyes. He's very Norwegian looking. Yeah. Yeah. He just walked. They they live in the ghetto of the ghetto of Minnesota. Like people were dying every night. Like yeah. I like over the line. And uh, he was just walking down the street, and a black guy with a wrench just started beating him. Jesus he was walking, shit. like he said, he was just—he looked real angry at something else. Didn't say a word Jesus. to him. And he, just, he just thought they were gonna walk by, and the guy started hitting him across the face and hit him in the eye. He lost an eye. Fuck. And he even—he even went on a ten-minute rant with me about how he'll, like, he—he he said that'll never make me racist. Racist. He's like, even though that injustice happened to me, I'll never be racist. He's like, I won't let that guy poison me. Yeah. Because apparently the black guy had said some shit to him. Mm -hmm. And he looked, again, he looks very Norwegian. Blonde hair, blue eyes, tall. But still, that doesn't mean anything. Like, just because you're blonde hair, blue eyes, I mean, that's... 
that's stereotyping the opposite. Sure, thing. sure. Well, I, I gotta <laughs> get all that. I'm not trying to open up a big can of worms. I'm, just, sure. I'm just saying that's the story he told so me. Who was racist like, in that scenario? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just what he said to me. I'm just quoting another man. I don't know. I but that, do you remember that skate Tokyo trip when Matt broke his wrist in the hole? Yeah. Yep. Matt skated at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Matt had balls, dude. It was he like that was like four or five in the morning. Yeah. Uh, it was oh, him and then. Uh, Leave, it took like, him that. It took him that long to be that brave, because that bowl. Of course. Insane. Yeah. Oh, that's the scariest bowl. I, it, it's got fucking pool coping, and mm-hmm. it's like fourteen foot deep in it. It's got real vert too. Real vert pool coping. Yeah. Uh, is it pool coping? Remember, the it had a, the the lower end and the yeah. the lower end yeah, and yeah. the higher end. So that's something hard to navigate. Man, I got in that thing just without a skateboard and just tried to walk, and I was like having trouble climbing out of this damn thing. <laughs> So let alone to watch them whiz around it like they were. Oh my god! I, I, was, like, I, oh, I was watching like, like a fourteen-year-old kid doing airs and shit. Yeah. Deep in. I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, I don't know if it was that coming. trip or another one, but I remember seeing like you always see videos like for skaters and stuff like that. But that's probably something not a lot of us see in real life. But um, I saw a guy do like a heel flip frontside air in that deep end of the bowl, wow. like way way above the coping. It's like oh, shit because <laughs> I I never watched her. Yeah, just to see it in real life. Well, when you skate street, and you know you don't, <laughs> That's awesome. you don't actually skate. Uh, if you don't skate vert, like it's not something that crosses your mind. Yeah. Unless you're watching X Games, which you'll watch, but then you're just like, these dudes are like fucking acrobats at that. Yeah. Point. Oh yeah. It's not it's even. A it's not even skateboarding. It is absolutely like and they all have like nine inch wide boards. Fucking. This and it's and how they fall so gracefully is beyond me. Like remember Danny Way, mm-hmm. how he fell to flat. One time, what was that on? That was that, Jake Brown. That was Jake Brown. Oh, His shoes was... came flying off. Yeah, and then like it yeah, like, crushed it. Yeah, when you oh, and he hit Kobe. Being, being a skateboarder and knowing how that actually, actually yeah. felt, like maybe yeah. not as well, you know, oh, maybe my God. not exactly, I mean, but twenty feet of fucking air. But this, how often do you see a shoe kind of just like it was a projectile? Yeah. Like it just shut up. Yeah. Like what? What the hell happened? Yeah. Do you yeah. remember going out to Texas with Carl? Did you go to that? I did. Yep. Yeah, awesome. was when it? we did the contest. Yeah, what was that guy's name? Ju- were you a judge? Yeah, uh, well, I help qualify people. Okay, so you were in that little area. Yeah, yeah. I remember I was taking care of the older people. Mm-hmm. And, uh, what, 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 what did they end up assigning you? Like, uh, it basically, like they would, you know, do a few tricks, and then you'd say yeah or nay, like to qualify that sure. the contest or whatever. But yeah. what was the guy's name? Was running it, John um, Newberry. John Newberry. Um, Did you go to Chipotle with this? Yeah, that was the first time I ever went to Chipotle. Chipotle yeah. and it was amazing, yeah, right? It was. Holy it's, shit. It's, it's always like been around that long? Yeah, it's been around <laughs> way was, longer was in Texas, Texas than it had been in Ohio. Like but, eight years. Oh, but why I brought that up is uh, I guess that, that John Newberry guy was rolling Bird and watching Bird or whatever. Yeah. And he was like, he, I, he was talking to you. He was like, do you ever watch Bird or whatever? Like Bird videos? And he's like, you were like, yeah, and fast forward. Yeah. And he was like, I got this. I don't know if you were there for the conversation, but. You know how they made the oververt section? And I have the video of that, by the way. It's in here. Really? You want to watch Damn. it? You I might, back, I you know might be in it. In that, at that he, goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, I was like, why are you building an oververt? I was like, nobody skates over here. He goes, watch. It's like, these these people are savages down there. And he wasn't wrong. Dudes were hitting that oververt, like, and I'm just like, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. I would not try that. I wouldn't even try it. Because it was real oververt. Do you know what an oververt is? Yes. Got, okay. Ollie's had it on theirs. They had an oververt? Very yeah. Barely. Well, well uh, yes. Side section. But Bob Burnquist with, with the flip burn demo, I think it was Burnquist and... I got knocked out in that ramp. Ollie's ramp. Oh, I can, I can knock yeah. out that. I touched coping one time mm-hmm. and was like, that's it. I, <laughs> I was satisfied with my performance. Yeah. I was skating. I was skating. I, I didn't even drop in on it. But this, <laughs> there was a dude skating before me without a shirt on and he fell. And like there was a big swipe of like sweat on the flat bottom, oh. and so I went. I was trying to like just do like a slash grind or something. And when I came back down, it was like on the transition. I hit that wet spot, and my board shot out, and I got knocked out. Damn. So Damn. I mean, did you did, were people there when you woke up? Yeah, actually, Alex Davis was there. If you remember him, yeah, yeah. Um, he ran hey, up. Jeff, pull that mic up a little bit yep. to you. You're good. That Alex Davis. That's a. I haven't seen that kid blast from the past. Yeah. yeah. Is he been out of jail? I didn't know he was in jail. I didn't know he was in jail. Yeah, he got up some charges out in Cali. He moved out Cali and he was like, he got up some, um, uh, some bullshit charges, I think. And yep. Ended up, it wasn't even his fault. It was like somebody else's fault kind of thing. And he, he ended up in jail. I, I saw him 
probably looks like Jesus last picture. Oh, yeah. I saw from, uh, I saw he actually brother. moved out by me. He bought a bunch of land and stuff. Is he back here? Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Are you shitting yeah. me? Well, yeah, he's obviously he's gym. probably like 20 minutes from me or something like that. Oh, that's awesome. Some country. Dude, that's where like that mini ramp, uh, the Moscow mini ramp is. Remember you going out and skating that? Yeah. Oh, that's like, probably 10 minutes from my house. Fuck yeah. yeah. Is it still there too? Yeah, so I was telling Josh, um, I should have went down there and traced it and then brought it here. Yeah, well, I, I want to drive all the way down I'm gonna, there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, fuck it, I don't care, I'll skate yeah. the damn thing. <laughs> I'll probably when you go down there. Yeah, it's still good. I mean, every once in a while, I'll, I'll walk down there. And I need to find out what that board, that what the wood that they use in that is. It's not that one, the it's board like that you're between, talking about. It's like a composite. Wait, but there's got to be a composite that I can use that doesn't cost two hundred dollars a sheet. The yeah. one wasn't that the cross. Well, those, those some of those were upwards of a thousand for a four by eight sheet. Yeah, which is fucking insane. But how long is that ramp in there? And it's perfectly fine. Right, that ramp's right. Well, it's also like built tornado. out of metal, though. It did. It yeah. did. It actually yeah. raged a tornado like literally yep. fucking ten feet away from mm -hmm. it, basically. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It almost tore it, our school it down. Destroyed that town. Moscow. Oh, okay. Yeah. It actually. My parents live in Bethel, and like it yeah. ran up and went. Literally toward their house, got across the street to them, and then turned and went down the street. I was driving. I was probably within 200 yards of when that hit. Yeah, it driving. jumped across. Was, dude, a tornado yeah. went across the fucking river from Kentucky. Yeah. Really? It went yeah. over the river, which usually that that like it happen. hopped or it creeped. It went through it, Felicity and then yeah. down the hill, like into the valley, and then down. The oh, way, I see. So the, it got course. pushed by the the valley. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It went down across the river and then. Because it tore, like, it tore the whole side, these side hills of Kentucky up, and then jumped across the river and fucking tore us up through the, like, up through New Richmond, Moscow, and then, like, up past, uh, all the way up to Bethel, and then fizzled out by, it was probably into the town of Bethel. Yeah. But it, it went directly at my parents' house, literally going right at their house, and then turned left. I remember driving, I, I just pulled over and just, like, I, there's no, I can't see anything. No, like, you can't fucking do it. scary. Duck down, make sure you don't get a fucking 2 by 4 mm -hmm. to the head or something, you know? I mean, if you if you drive through Felicity and stuff, scary. a lot of people yeah. have like uh, pole barns, like metal barns out there. Sure. There's still metal like sheets wrapped in trees. They're Whoa. still like to the yeah track. up in the trees where they can't get them out. I had a when I lived on when I used to live on Bruce, um, we had a tornado in the middle, like seven a.m. This tornado, or like yeah, maybe six 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 thirty. I was getting ready for work. Me and my wife were in the kitchen, and I had my daughter at the time. She was only. She was in bed still, and she was sound asleep. And we just heard this crazy noise. I'm like, what the fuck is that noise? And it's just, I was like, is that the wind? Like, that is incredibly loud. <clears throat> then all I hear is, <coughs> and then like a tree in my backyard snaps in half. And then like, I look out back and like, fuck, that dead tree in our corner of our yard just broke. It didn't land on our fence. We had a privacy fence. I just paid the fucking thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, thank God it didn't crush it. But it, all the insurance would have covered it. Right. Well, our neighbor's tree fell into our tree, broke our tree off 10 feet wow. up in the air, and it's, both of them fell in the yard behind. Come to find out, it was an F0 that came up th up the hill from like Coney Island. Came up the hill. Really? Like, this? Yeah. This was five, well, it's got to be five, six years ago now. Well, no, daughter, daughter was like real young sleeping, so she's probably one. Uh, it's got to be four years ago. Hmm. But yeah, yeah, it threw my neighbor's trampoline. That's what I meant, I, whether my story was going, but I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> it threw my neighbor's trampoline from their backyard across the street and 50 feet in a tree. Yeah. Nice. It was literally the top of a tree, which dude's hilarious. So he's... He's take he takes a picture of it, posts it on Facebook, like trampoline for sale, real cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean that was at least that one good out of it. But yeah, I, mean, I had to clean up trees for fucking the next two days. <laughs> so I for firewood. It was, but they're all ash, so I mean yeah. you know, ash tree you can't take anywhere. A bitch, fucking hardwood hell, burnt up two chainsaw blades. Oh really? It's yeah. a hardwood? Oh god yeah. Ash? Fuck. Mm. That is terrible. And that tree was dead. And they oh, dead. that's what bats are made out of, right? I don't know. Um, like Louisville? Yeah. You mean Louisville Slugger? Uh, right. that's, good. that's a good question. Yeah, right. because the emerald good. ash borer is oh, the, is the bug that's killing yeah. all the trees. And that is fucking up all the bats. Yeah. Well, Louisville says they're not going to be able to make bats in like the next five years. Out of wood. Hmm. Huh. That's, that's what I heard. Should I ever make like a composite then? Huh? I'm gonna make like a composite bag. Uh, 
I mean, it's Major League Baseball. Like you can't use a different it. word. What's what's um, one under Ash? Fucking I'd go teak. <laughs> Shit, you ain't gonna fuck that. I mean, up. if I were Louisville, I'd buy four hundred acres and plant nothing but ash trees. Yeah, right. Well, but it takes so long to be able to grow a tree big enough to even sure burr. Like, but I mean, you're investing in your business. And, uh, so there's a new one now too. There's the ash borer, then there's the Asian longhorn. Yeah, I think. Mm-hmm. And then that, I heard. It, I could be wrong, but I heard once they run out of you know trees that they eat or whatever, we'll move on to like maples and stuff like that. Um, oh, but see, so the that's around ash right borer will only eat yeah, the ash. Yeah, yeah, but this one I guess will go in between and stuff. But oh, skateboards are maple. So Fuck, they, are. they are. You're gonna have to start stockpiling. That's because skateboards. maple's soft enough to come. Like, <laughs> like, There's more glue than anything on skateboards. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean the ply. It's so but, thin. They can take it so many other. Yeah, I mean they are damn near full of sheet, but it's set in ply. I mean, think it's wild. Like, in, a, in a fucked up world, traditional wood skateboards would go away, but by then we would have such great technology. Do you remember uh, the yeah. aluminum board John Canty had? Yeah. Oh my what god. What was that called? What's the name of that? Air track or something yeah. like that? Yeah. Shit, I do remember that. Yeah. I mean, you see, you see it's it. the most fucked up. Because it has no bend. <laughs> yeah, so you're yeah. like, what is this thing? But that's I remember. You want that little bit of movement. Yeah, it had like some kind of like cap on the nose and the tail. Yeah. And I remember when I saw it, like, I saw him like skating because I'd heard of him. And uh, I like oh, shoot it. Wow. I'm like, dude, this thing, if you hit your shin, you're going to get fucking sliced yeah. open because those caps were like coming out like it was riveted or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I didn't think about that. When I saw it, it wasn't like it was. Were they solid? Like it was no, solid. I think they yeah. were like extruded, like. Build it. Yeah, it had, yeah, it had like a little. See, see, you see, you know. Okay. There was like channels on the bottom of it. Whoa. Yeah, so the hair cracked right in the middle of it. I think he had a silver one. Yeah. I feel like I remember these, but I don't know how the fuck I remember that. Wait, let's get a John Pinson. I don't even know how he got it. You know how he got it? Uh, I should have asked him about that. <laughs> I remember Dude, he, how did John not bring that up? I don't know, right? I don't know how long he had it. I did, I, that was at Amelia Skate Fest, and uh, I just remember like the sound. Oh, God. Yeah. Like Ollie and stuff like that. Ding, ding. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's. No sliding was weird. Mm-hmm. I okay, can't imagine. can I get one of my beers? Yep. I remember That's, it like uh, kind of being light though. I mean, it has to be light. Yeah. I mean, aluminum is pretty light, but I don't know. I mean, that was so it's strange. utilitarian. It'll never break. That's why John Candy probably got it. Mm-hmm. Anybody else? Yeah. Just, no, I want uh, no, I, I want a true. That beer's good, but I just there's a little bit left. I, I literally drink. Did you try that? No, but I. Now I did. Sour beer don't scare me. No, I've brewed a sour beer before. I brewed a sour beer accident. accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I don't even know what like makes a sour beer a sour beer. It's like thank you. It's what? actually when you inter- actually have to introduce it's like a, a lot of yeast. Nope. You introduce a bacteria into the beer that actually is failing the of making a beer. It's yeah. actually failing making beer. So if you fuck up a beer, mm-hmm. it turns to vinegar. Yeah. So vinegar vinegar would okay. be like a uh, it would make a sour. Yeah. So that's basically what it is. But they purposely introduce a bacteria, but there's a bat bacteria is like a healthier bacteria that right. they can control. And it goes so far and they basically shut it down. And hmm. yeah, it's weird how it, it's uh, ver- they're one of the hardest beers to make. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Adam Case accidentally uh, made one. Yeah. Oh, I made one on accident too, and then I was like, that's sour, don't think it. <laughs> I, everybody's like, well, you can probably, like, I think, I was always brewing beer with Brian, um, Brian Ames there for a while, and then he, he's just like, you can probably still drink it, and I'm like, I'm not fucking yeah. it. Like, it could kill you. But he's like, it's not going to kill you. It may make you puke, <laughs> but it won't kill you. Like, you ever brew out of a carboy? Corboy? Is it, cor- yes. cor- is it carboy? Corboy? I've been saying carboy forever. That's what I always thought it was. Um, carboy. I know it has the O in it, but I always... Like everybody, I've heard, so I don't know. I could be wrong. You know that you know the yeast that sits at the bottom of that when it's yes, done. Yes, the yeast cake. I used to take spoons of that. Why? And eat it. Just because I'm gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say like, there's literally no reason to do that. <laughs> I'd just be like, watch this, and it would. It's not good. No, it's like shit. <laughs> so what I would do? Some bong water. Like Whoa. Brian, Brian. When I made beers with Brian, he would actually just. He he would take. And he would un- not filter his beer, so he would just take it directly from that and put it into his keg, and then put his keg or whatever. I would take my beer from the bucket to a um, 
into so I had a bucket, which we were fermenting bucket, and you mm. move into a. I, I would move mine into like a, a white boy. plastic food grade bucket. Yes. Okay. And then I would move mine from that bucket into a glass core boy. Okay. And then it would sit. I would let that. Oh, so settle you double again. fermentate? No, no. I would just it would. I would just basically pump it all out of that into that one. Which when I do that, it. I leave that yeast cake in that bucket, mm. and then I put it into this, and it produces a second yeast cake, and uh, then I'm going to pump it out without pumping that yeast cake out, which basically filters your beer so you don't get any of the particles in yeast cake yeah. into your beer. Does your beer wind up being clearer? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You still have the same taste and everything, but you yeah. actually yield less beer because you're taking some. I've actually never done it. I've had friends that have done it, but... It's a bitch, and it really costs too much to even, even do. Like have you ever had one of the, the car boys or whatever, like ever pressurized where they like exploded? No. So Adam, had, Adam came home and the ceiling was covered because whatever happened, they it blew got, and went all over the ceiling. So he didn't have a blow off valve. Yeah, he didn't I have, think, I swear he didn't have the water valve on it? Yeah. I just, I, I've, I've you never done it, so I just remember years. like he had like the, it was like a cork and then there was like a clear tube with something on it. Oh, so, so he did a high alcohol beer, but he didn't put a burp bucket. So yeah, yeah, could, yeah, you yeah. take, if you do a high alcohol beer, like, and you put enough yeast in it, mm -hmm. like it'll be like, brrr, like it'll yeah. start going like really quick yeah. to a point where you actually take, instead of having that little thing, cause it'll just build like, that's only built to make like little tiny bubbles to mm -hmm. go through. Um, but if you're doing a high alcohol beer, it puts out too much gas. So you actually have to take a hose out of that and put it into a, a bucket of water. Where like, cause it'll spit. Like, yeah, I don't think you did that. I, it'll it'll <laughs> spit. Yeah, it'll like spit gas, but it also spit like foamy like yeast cake yeah. out into the water too. You take the hose. You have to want you want the hose underwater because it won't it won't let any bacteria. It's like sanitizer. It's like sanitized yeah, yeah. water and everything. You have to. It's a bitch, dude. Baking yeah. beer is fucking sucks. Like it was fun, but you're like, well, I made this. Yeah. But you're like, you know what? I'd rather call it a crazy store. Crazy beer brewing phase like i mean he bought 500 dollars giant fucking stainless steel uh uh pots yeah. that had like the big gauge on them yeah. and the valve on the bottom wow like he went all out yeah exactly. we had the chiller we had everything damn it was it was like our new thing instead of skateboarding yeah like, well yeah. once you get order again and it's what sucks and that's one of the reasons why we also we did this it was it, it, and what i was thinking about the other day i was like you know what well, you know what's so much fun about this? It's like, I'm just catching up with my old buddy. Yeah, oh yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, this is like... I was really excited to come. I know. I, I've been texting you like all week. Like, and it's been... I've been like this. Like... I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that, well, that's what's great. And like, and I want us all to go see I was see telling my wife, my wife's never met you. So I'm like, yeah. you know, like, this is an old friend from the past. He's yeah. in a video that I showed you. Yeah. And I was like, I can't I wait. see that. She goes, well, 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 she goes, are you going to be there for four hours? I was like, I might be here six. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I love yeah, Jeff Phillips. Yeah, yeah it's good. I mean, well, like, so what was like your, like, I made a little cheap sheet. Oh, okay. oh, oh, all right. You got cheat sheet. Yeah, you doing homework. Wait a minute. <laughs> you know, like, I don't want more questions. <laughs> what, so what, like. What's your like telltale? Like, what 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 is your tale from? Where'd you go from Veriflex? Like, what was your like your favorite, your favorite uh, core deck? Like, your what was your setup like? I don't know, I remember the very first uh, that I said my dad took me to Matt's skate shop. I think it was my birthday or something. Um, but I got a it was a I want to find that board. It was a World Industries, and it was uh, Flame Boy and uh, uh, like Water Boy or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, 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 yeah, but um, he made a gajillion dollars out of that. Oh dude. yeah. But it was oh, like yeah. uh, what a, one or the other like had a like a TNT thing, and then there was like a one yeah. of the world. And then oh, I remember that board. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I remember that. I want to find it. Better than it's probably one of the most popular boards on earth. That one? Yeah, that well, the number one board is Tom Penny yeah, board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really no, I just that. I got like the yeah. nervous sweats. That's all. No, you're fine. Blow a little cold air. I'm a little. Yeah. And then uh, I'll bring a fan. I know I got nice. Grind King trucks, and then oh. I they're wow. still hard plastic wheels. You got the Grind Kings with the Allen head? The yeah, and then the, the uh, nut? Yeah, the, the rounded one or whatever. You didn't get the Grind Kings that had just, a, instead of a bolt holding the, the bearing in, it was just like one screw? No. no Whoa. You, you, you dodged old. the bullet there. I yeah. bought those. I was, I was into every little but skate that was, I had it. But that was made to not get slipped axles. It was made so you don't, okay, so uh, you land... You land enough credit card or whatever happens to your board 
that that thread gets fucked up and you can't get that nut on and off right. Uh, and so they made it so that it was like one Allen, very small, very small. Oh, that held the wheel on. That held the wheel on. So well, eventually they would come unscrewed from rolling your board. <laughs> oh, shit. That's and I, terrible. So I, I, I like literally got made it to Beachmont, first time I ever owned these things. And they come they come falling apart. And I'm like, I'm a dumb little kid, and I'm like, what the hell's going on? Some random dude comes out of his house and he goes, Oh, I saw what happened, what's going on? I'm like, I don't know. And he's like, Oh, you need an Allen key. I didn't even know what an Allen key was, I don't think. Well, yeah, I did, because I had the top yeah, hole. Yeah. And uh so yeah, you put them back together, I can make it halfway down Beachmont, it happens all over again. So then I, then I discovered what Loctite was. Yep. Uh, so then I put Loctite on them. Man, you discovered Loctite that long. I, mean, yeah. I did. Man, Grand King's yeah, like expensive. expensive. I learned uh, it is. But you know, if you go to AutoZone, they have little tiny ones that are yeah. like yeah. 25, 50 cents. Well, the whatever. funny thing about Grind King, like, which back in the day, like the problem with Grind King was that it was such a soft metal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That you oh, it's crazy just, you said that. I, that's the first thing I think when yeah. people say Ryan King, King, I'm King. like, oh, the softest truck in the industry. Because yes. they were marketed to be lighter than, yeah. than all the and others. So they just had less... Oh, I've worked so many. They just had less built right, to right, right, right. Well, if you flipped it over, the, the truck over, you can see the axle mm -hmm. and that little lip. Ah, you remember how Ventures, you, yeah, Ventures yeah. you can see it just a little bit? Yeah, they yeah. give you a glimpse. Grind King, when you flip that thing, you can see it from end to end almost. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. And so their axles would float. They would know for Oh my that. god, dude. Soft metal. Yeah, but the soft metal hard axle. Like you could do like a, I, I want to say they were um, magnesium or something like that. They're all, mag, they're all, um, it's uh, not pure, first of all, that pure magnesium reacts with the air and yeah, yeah. Right. So, yeah. so it's an alloy of some sort, mostly magnesium because magnesium is also soft. Oh, uh, so um, yeah. I cracked so many of those trucks and then, I think I started, I, from then on I skated, um, I, I, I know I had tensors for a little bit. And then yeah. after that, it was uh, Crux. That's the only thing I let's, got. Let's go back to... so Crux, that, that was your shit? That was your jam? The mirrored what finish the ones? Fuck were the, what the goddamn... What were the trucks that we loved? That we were like... Oh, Independence? Fury. Fury. Fury Super Sports. Fury, Fury Super Sports. I have a pair of those at my house. <gasps> what? Yeah. Wait, you don't still skate? Do you get them? Uh, it's been about two years. Okay. Yeah, those yeah. Are he hurt himself real bad at Andy's, yeah, yeah. so he had to... Oh, he had I had a fucking dent in my leg now. Like, permanent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That my shit felt like. It's gross. Do you remember those, Mark? The Furies yeah. were famous yeah. for the mm -hmm. nuts being locked in. And mm -hmm. then they came out with the Super Sports, where, where basically they just, instead of it being a big, chunked out independent truck, yeah. they sliced it all down and made it all sleek. Dude. But I love that for not having the to like. Super Sports is a shit. I, those are, my two favorite trucks were Ventures because they just seemed like a standard. Yeah, truck? yeah. Mm -hmm. Like a good standard truck. Well, like independent. And then I, I really like Tensors because I, I like the idea of that this little plastic piece. Oh, yeah. Who knows? It, they didn't work as well as like advertised, but and they were designed by Rodney Mullen. Yeah. If you didn't know that. It was a really cool idea. Yeah, like you look at it, you're like, why didn't we think of this years ago? Like the upside down catch bottle, catch bottle. Mm -hmm. Like we only do it like this. We just keep it like this. But I, I want to know. I'm a little curious. I want to backtrack a little bit, sure. if I may. Um, so you hung out with us and the like the, the I don't know the Christians and whatnot and all that. What happened after that? I don't know. Like, did, it seemed like <laughs> I think it seemed like you. Like... Is his name Ben? Yeah. And what's the other kid? Gary. Gary. Mm -hmm. Gary. That's no, okay. Gary's last name. Philip. Yeah. His his dad's a quantum mechanic, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he passed oh. away. It's been a, been a long time. Gary's dead. Mm -hmm. Well, what happened? Um, I, he just had some health issues, diabetes and stuff, I believe. Wait, his dad or Gary? His dad. Oh, oh his dad. dad. Yeah. Shit, yes. man. No, Gary's right. good. Like I'm like, we're the, the one podcast, three <laughs> skaters dead? Damn. Yeah. No, 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 I'm actually probably hey, man. on Gary after We're this. not the healthiest of folks. Gary. Tell me what's going on. live, uh, like my, my cousin's. My cousin's house, like, has an apartment attached to it. And I want to say Gary ended up moving in there for a while. This was a few years back. Hmm. I don't know. Does that sound familiar? It's like Jenny, Jenny Lane. Go back to what I was talking about. What's your cousin's name? Nicole Hayes. Is she a whore? <laughs> no, she's a horrible bad. person, you guys. <laughs> <mentioned? laughs> anyway, if you do it, okay. Oh, whore one later. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll ask him. Um, what were you going to say? No, I, uh, so I, there was this gap where, uh, like, um, I was going to say, I didn't see you for a long time, and then when I saw all three of you, all three of you were pretty fucking good at skateboarding. Oh my god. And I was like, hey a second, 
<laughs> like we went to Louisville, and I think Gary was like front blunting one of the flat bars, and it's pretty Gary, high are bar. Are you talking about Gary Hayes or Gary Billow? I don't know. Yeah. The guy, the dad, his dad was a mechanic. Gary, that was, that was Gary Billow. Yeah, so he. Like the last time I had seen him, he mm-hmm. couldn't do anything like that. Yeah. But the next, it's like iron sharpened iron, or mm-hmm. something happened where you got all three of you would just like became the kings of Amelia or whatever. You're like yeah. the kings of the north. And uh, I've, I've been watching Game of Thrones. And uh, <laughs> good, good, good show. Good show. Oh yeah, awesome. No, I've already seen it. I'm rewatching. Mm-hmm. Um, oh okay. I know what happens. I'm still watching it. Lots of boobs. But anyways, um, nice boobs. Um. <laughs> So yeah, like uh, I never got a chance. I never talked to you about it, but in my head, and I never said anything. I never said, "Oh, well, they're good now." I just, but in my head, I had that thought, like, "Oh shit, you're a force to be reckoned with." Yeah. Like now, yeah. I have to pay attention to you. <laughs> you're on my radar. Oh, what yeah. happened? That's why I was weird. What too. happened in that period between skate fest days and I don't know? Maybe you just you pubicated and you you got yeah, your probably. your man flesh. Yeah. Just more hours in. More yeah, hours I don't know. Um, I skated uh, the Amelia Skate Fest. I don't re- really remember how. Do you remember how that ended? Like why they stopped doing it there just to move it to Anderson? Um, no, they did both there for a long time. Yeah. They actually stopped doing it in Anderson and only did Amelia. Um, Anderson was Amelia first. Was first a better, a, more people. Yeah. Uh, um, we had some. That church, was, that church that was there, mm-hmm. had the, most of the people that attended that church were elderly people. And they went up to the pastor and said, hey, we're concerned that the skateboard wheels are wearing away at our asphalt. Yeah. <laughs> but mind you, these are really old people. They don't understand how your yeah, thing yeah, is. Sure. Works. There's no way our wheels could do any damage to that. No. Um, <laughs> and we could zero damage to the parking lot. Um, so there was things like that where the older people just didn't understand the younger generation and yeah. what they wanted to do. And, and so we were just like, well, in Anderson, there's none of those problems. Mm-hmm. Like the... We don't have to go to a, sit in a council and explain to a 90 year old man how a skateboard works and yeah. show him. Like, that was a weird thing for me mm-hmm. to do. So, I just, you know, I think Carl and me just, you know, well, we're getting better support. We're getting, we're reaching a whole different group of people. These people we've already reached a million times. Mm-hmm. So, that was kind of the thing. Like, so, like, and that's kind of cool because, like, I've never, I never knew, like, the, some of the background of that. I just remember um, when, when it started down in Anderson and, like, how. That was the one spot we could just we knew we could go fucking skate that day and like we we could rage it for a couple hours and not worry about the cops. Not yet, not because I mean that's all Skates that's all it was shit. back in the day. It was like we literally got chased out everywhere. Yeah, I mean it didn't matter. You would go to one spot, you're out. The one spot, how long? You know, like in the hard bus where you had a couple spots, like a couple banks. I think you knew after five, nobody gives a shit. Like nobody's gonna call on you. There's nobody around. They don't care. But then there was a couple spots. Uh, like the good spots were like, man, fucking, you know, I'm in here. This is a bus. I'm yeah. here for five minutes and then fucking out. Like, it, it, it's just, it was just harder. And like, that's, I'm not, that's what like one of the things about skate parks. And I like, from you up in Amelia. So Anderson's Park here down here was probably your closest first skate park, right? That's why you headed down this way, or uh, I just knew people. I mean, when in Amelia, there was only three people that skated. I mean, yeah. literally the whole high school. I think Carl had graduated. Because Carl was a few years older than me. Um, I think he had graduated, you know, before me or whatever. Um, so other than him, I feel like Carl was like no one ever really skated. So um, just through Skate Fest, I met people in Anderson. I, kn- I know and been friends with more people in Anderson than I ever was in Amelia. Yeah. Um, just, you know, hanging out with everybody. But. I mean, the, the yeah, I thought it was Skate Fest was awesome. I thought it was, it was so fun. Yeah. I loved it. I just look because, to it every uh, week. Like you had the whole beach mob mob, right? Yeah. And all of a sudden you had like this whole new Amelia crew that was yeah. basically on the same level. And I was like, who the fuck are these guys? Yeah. Like, remember, I didn't meet these guys our, uh, ever in my life because we never had like a park per se. And then yeah. Skate Fest came about. And it's like, holy shit, there's a whole nother group of dudes that are fucking killing. Did you Skate Skate Fest? And, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would make to. Do you uh, remember what our crew name was? I, that's what you I was never went to Amelia, though, did you? That's what I was trying to get at. Like, no, I went out there. there. Did you go there? Yeah, I yeah. went there maybe the once or twice. Yeah. I drove by. I drove by the other day, and I was like, "Damn, that's where we skate." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get to Amelia very often. It's once it started rolling into Anderson. I don't remember you ever being Amelia. Right. I, I kind of do. I mean, you would. It would have been me standing off in the corner, like not doing anything. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I was young too. Um, I do remember Anderson when they first started having Anderson. That's when uh, 9/11 happened. Mm. Um, I was in school and stuff, and then I remember my mom wanted me to stay home. It's like, I just want to go there. <laughs> wow. So 9/11. So, 
I feel like I, I must have been like, I, dude, yeah. do you guys remember the skate fest? Like after when I I I skated the skate fest, and then like I would be, I don't like I didn't skate there for like a year, and then I guess that must have been that year. It's it was weird because like I remember that year I was I was not skateboarding. I don't know what I was doing. I was what, on skateboarding. what was your crew's name? Because I remember you guys had. <laughs> there was, was that part of the like, coffee shit the, too? No, that was. It seems the, like no pink skirts. No, we were the skateboards. Skateheads. Yes. 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 Ah, yeah. There was a biking group too that was real big from America. Um, misled. Misled, yeah. yeah. They had stickers made on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Misled. I, I still see a misled sticker here and there out in the wild. It wasn't that. Wasn't that like the Dave Jacobs? Oh no, dude I'm, that I'm at a Washington kind of cool. Um, Gary. And uh, Matt fucking had the jumps in his backyard. Like that long Matt Bishop. Matt yeah, Bishop. Yeah, Matt Bishop. Yeah. Like, yeah, he had all his jumps in his backyard. Nice Canada being a fucking survivor, dude. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Did you know that Matt Bischoff had a public access channel where he played heavy metal? Yeah. Yeah. I remember seeing his band. He's, no, but I, I befriended him. I was <laughs> skating so behind the public access plaza. Yeah. And he popped out the door and he goes, What's up, man? He goes, Show me a trick. And I was like, well, I think I invented this one. And I did a heel flip, never mind, where I tapped it back down. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, he was like, what the fuck? And I was like, yeah, I've never seen anybody do it. But I, I was like, I think I invented it. And, uh, and uh, he goes, let me film that. And I was like, okay. And he put it on public access TV. And in between, really? so nice. occasionally in between like a Pantera video, you would see Mark McClure do a fucking heel flip, never mind. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> he, he did like, he, well, he, he was a great BMXer. Yeah. He, he got, got really good. Like, right? Well, so that right that behind the Um, do you know where Once Upon a Time is on Beachmont? Yeah. Um, it's right there. Okay. It's like yeah. two, yeah. two stores down. Once Upon a Time. What the fuck is that? Once Upon a Child. Oh, Once okay. Upon a child. <laughs> it's that gap. You guys, you guys love this game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Ledge, like maybe a center blocks or whatever. Yeah. Dude, I I waxed that ledge. Yeah. I what? was the first. I waxed Did that you ledge. It? Yeah. I had a fucking IV in my arm. I had cellulitis when I was fourteen. And um, my mom wouldn't let me go skate because I, I literally had to go home with an eye. I had to have an I don't know what it's called. The other thing. It's an infection of like a pocket of pus, basically, he and your jaw. An abscess tooth. An abscess tooth to turn into cellulitis, oh, which okay. is like it, it's like the next step. Yeah, the next step would be like it starts to deteriorate your bone and shit. So like, and then if you weren't to do anything about it, it would it would literally like just eat away at the bone in your face, and then you would just kind of rot away. Uh, but delightful. Yeah, so I had I was in the hospital for five days. No, you weren't. When I was fourteen, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then um, I had to go home with an IV in my arm that my mom was a nurse, so they let her like hook up the medication to. Oh, okay. So like you I was, I waxed again? that ledge where mm -hmm. once upon a shot is that ledge. So if, I don't know anybody knows like. It's a cinder block ledge, which is hard as fuck to wax. It, it was only like that high off the ground. At the beginning. Yeah, well, at the beginning, but then like you dropped like oh, a yeah, five foot drop scary. at the end, and then, or there was like a little wall that you dropped like mm -hmm. five feet, and you had you had like three foot to get your shoulders in between. Yep. Um, but like I'd always skated the gap, and it was like, man, I'm gonna fucking, I want to wax this. I wonder if it would work. And I remember waxing it, and just running my board across it. Mm -hmm. it, was like, it was chunky, man. I oh, fucking think I could do shit. it, dude. What all tricks have ever even went down on that? Like I don't, I have no idea. The day I waxed it, I fifty fifty that. That was it. Yeah, it was like <laughs> you fifty fifty that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the day I went, the I like day I, I waxed, I literally a bar, like probably two bars of sex wax on it, and I had an IV in my arm. That's so yeah. sad. Like, <laughs> I had a fucking needle in my arm, and then like this like hookup thing, and then my mom wrapped like an ace bandage around it. She's like, just don't fucking fall on your arm, yeah. and she let me go skate. I was like, dude, I need to go fucking skate. I, I didn't care. Like that's how. And that's how into it I was. I was like, I don't give a shit. Like, I want to go fucking skate. Like, I just don't want to fucking yeah, I, sit here anymore. I board slid it, board slid it to fakey since I'm regular. Like, okay, okay. that's even scarier. Well, yeah, I know that 50 50. <laughs> you never stopped and fell forward? No, I actually slipped back and scratched my back all yeah, over the That was probably like on the edge better than wall. going forward, though. Oh, yeah. Whatever it was. You would have scored me if you went forward. Yeah, if you took absolutely. me there today, I'd be like, there's no fucking, no fucking way in hell. I would all eat a gap. I think. But John yeah. Cheryl would session that gap like it was not, like it was a tic tac. Yeah. And I, I hated it. And the biggest it. part of it, too. I all it and was he like, woohoo! Dude, he's, he's huge. Second biggest, biggest alley of my life. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. John was, John's fucking shit was yeah. just, like, it, he would not, he, not that he's like a one upper, but like, he would do every trick he could. Once he could ollie it, he's like, I'm gonna do every other trick. Everything I have in my bag, I'm doing over that. What's he doing now? 
I'm <laughs> sorry. I just talked about his burp and the phone came up. Um, he, he's actually going to think he's living in Clifton area. Yep. Um, I did talk to him. He's going to do this one of these days. So, yep. But I don't know how to get him here. And you might be my ticket to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make you go pick get some up. interesting stories out of this <laughs> one. Yeah. I, I mean, this is the th- shit that I love about it, though, is like, you ought to get me, Matt, and John at the same time. What the fuck? Where's Matt Mahan at? Uh, he just moved. He just moved back here. Yeah, yeah. he just moved back. Uh, he's in Hillsboro. Okay. I'm, I'm not like speaking terms. I don't know if I, he made fun of my wife, and I was just like, no, that's not good. In my head, I was like, yeah, who makes fun of an old man's wife? Yeah, I like, don't think I'm gonna have Matt on here to be honest. With you. <laughs> I mean, I want to, but then just go videotape it. There might be a fight. <laughs> oh, that's why it's getting videotaped. <laughs> He's too, he's too much of an alcoholic now, though, to, oh, to fight, I think. Crazy. He's just gasoline on fire. Yeah, it is. Well, he he is. has always been like that. I remember being like, really the, uh, Dude, uh, the first time I met him, he put a shotgun on me. Oh, nice. The first time I walk in his house, and he's just like, <laughs> just so you know. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I remember I was at a bar one time. and he, I remember, he he even reminds me over and bringing. Yeah, there you go. Please well, don't. I ran into someone at a bar one time, and there was I was dating a girl, and somebody was trying to, like, I don't know, there's some drama or something like that, and like, I was kind of getting pissed, and I look over at Matt, and Matt's like, dude, you gotta fight him, like, you should do it, I'm like, dude, no, like, he was just trying to instigate, like, yeah. dude, dude, he, talks, he, he loves drama. drama, oh, yeah, that's what he does, he yeah. loves it, gasoline on the fire, dude, he's like, he dude, really... go punch him, I was like, no, man, I, I was at Lisa's one night with him, and <laughs> I'm at Lisa's, day. I was on house arrest, <laughs> well, I was on house arrest, so, like, <laughs> place sucks. Yeah, I, I was on house arrest, so, like, I literally was supposed to be going to an AA meeting, and I went to Lisa's. <laughs> And hung out. I did the same thing for your wedding, friend. <laughs> um, That's awesome. So when I went there, I literally was like sitting with him for a minute. We were drinking, hanging out, we were playing pool, and I was like, I have to leave here at this time. Yeah. And I would bomb down a hill, and I was like, because it was right up the street from my house, so mm-hmm. I would just bomb down the hill on my skateboard. And um, he fucking, I walk out as I leave or whatever. I get to my house and I got a missed call, and I'm like, what the fuck. I call him back. He's like, what? He's like, dude, was that you? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, you didn't get in that bar fight? I was like, huh? I was like, I just walked out. Nothing happened. And he's like, dude. He's like, the second you walked out, I thought you started the bar fight. He's like, I just went and beat the shit out of like seven people thinking oh, you were in the God. bottom of this pile. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, and then I didn't see you. And I'm like, oh, no, not me. <laughs> like, it was weird. I was like, no, I'm home. I'm good. <laughs> so apparently something happened right as I walked out the door. Yeah, it was fucking crazy. That place is gnarly, dude. Yeah, I could do a whole nother podcast on leases. That's a free, that's a free store food bank now. <laughs> yeah, I know. I drive by and I look it is like a complete of all the of oh, all yeah. the things it you became. became that. Yeah, it's like there's no demonic presence there. Like at the food so, bank. Have you seen on Mount Carmel Tabasco at Deja Vu? It's like a boys and girls club now. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. That's that's weird. Weird. Well, it, was a, it was a boys and girls club before. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. Covey and I, Covey and I went there. We went skating all day one day, and then like, uh, it was one of the times I didn't have a license. So like, Covey, we, Covey didn't have a license. Hold on, we should tell people for, for people who do not know, Deja Vu was a strip club. Oh yeah, Deja Vu used to be a strip club, um, a dirty, skanky strip club. Yeah. But it was fun to see went the there girls a few went to high school with and got naked. <laughs> I only went there a few times and I, yeah. I heard my cousin start working there, so I couldn't go. <laughs> yeah, no. but I didn't mention one night you didn't know of or something. You don't want to reinvest yeah. in the family? <laughs> I'm not family paying her fucking rent. <laughs> yeah, get her to be like, I know you're on hard times. <laughs> it's, it's not because you're dancing so well. <laughs> the, You've obviously fallen on hard times. But yeah, Covey and I went there and Covey's from Chicago, so like, he literally walks in there, and I think it was more like this is how he gets the girl's attention because, like, he gets a girl's attention by, like, being like, you ain't shit kind of thing. You're, 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 I'm sure everybody's met somebody that's like, okay. I'm going to get that girl's attention by telling her she's a piece of shit. Yes. Okay? So she's going to sit there and tell her she's a piece of shit. Why don't you like me? Everybody else like me. Yes, exactly. But he, she's like, I'm the hottest one in the bar. And you knew this bitch was the hottest one there. And he's just like, yeah, I ain't shit. He's like, I'm he's like, I'm from Chicago, you go up to the strip clubs there. He's like, everyone on number fucking ten. He's like, you guys are fucking fives, fours and shit. <laughs> he's just like just treating them like shit, which they're strippers. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I mean He's just queuing into their he head. Was, he was exactly working the system. 
the girl brought over her friend. <laughs> I'm just like sitting at the table and I'm like, wow, here's the second hottest one. I was like, okay, I get it. And he's just, and he was totally and now he's Howard Stern. He didn't spend a fucking dime and got two, the, the top two ones to like give us all lap dances and shit for free and just sit at our table the rest of the night. So I'm like, okay. He played it correctly. Like, I totally knew what he was doing. We were at the bar across the street before that happened. Like, it was just hilarious. Like, the bar closed, the strip club was open until 4 in the morning. <laughs> so we went there. Dude. Do you guys remember, uh, what was the, um, like, King Club on Beachfront? It's Volkswagen now. Uh, uh, club Extreme. Club Extreme. Club Extreme. Do you remember after Discovery that? Discovery Zone? Yeah, yeah. After yeah so. It was Leaps and Bounds, too, I think. Leaps and Bounds. That. It was Leaps and Bounds, then it became That's Discovery Zone. Same yeah. thing. Yeah. So that club didn't last long. No. Well, there was, 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 was underage drugs in oh, yeah. there, like hard drugs. I remember skating like late at night, driving by there and just like yawning all of them. Like, they were trying to skate that wall, that little wall they had. But someone put a curb down it too. And yeah, was that was that was these kids. Uh, that was the Beachfront Mob that really? did that. They did. Andy did a bunch of filming there where they put a parking curb down it on the center yeah. blocks. But that was that shitty like Taco Bell table, like yeah, pebbles. Oh yeah, 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 and there were and there were bricks. Mm-hmm. They were like two by two uh, patio pavers. Or I have I've missed this area. So era. where where they are, it was like a cinder block retaining wall material, what made your wall, but it was like a circular patio, and this patio had was made up of paver bricks, but it was smooth enough that you could skate, but it was chunky. It was just mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. like as you went to anything, and it was only like a two foot wall. Yeah, it was just fun because you never got kicked out there. Because no, you could skip out of business and yeah, it was shut down for the longest yeah. time. And that church next door had a huge gap. Mm -hmm. Huge mm -hmm. gap. I went there and looked at it a couple times. Ben and broke his leg on that. Really? Yeah. Somebody did it? Ben Clary. No, he tried to. I mean, Ned did. Like, yeah. I just saw him the other day. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> I fucking was like, ooh, I'm gonna talk to you soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ned. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, get him on. Yeah, oh, I'll get him on. I'm gonna talk all these fuckers again. Yeah. I've only spoken to him once. Fun. He had, I can't. I guess his first car was like an Infinity or something like that. Yeah, I'm like, he had a G35. I remember walking up to him. I've never spoken to him his, before. His first car was a uh, Dodge Dynasty. Oh, okay. Well, like it was like a he bought some he nice Infinity, and I'm like, car. who the fuck are you? Like, I was like, who buys a fucking like an awesome Infinity? Good. Yeah, Infinity's the shit back then. Yeah, sure, but. I forget that was. I remember G35. It wasn't a normal teenage no. car, especially no. a guy who dressed and acted like him. Yeah. No, but yeah, yeah. Punk rock, was, but yeah. yet sophisticated. Exactly. That's I don't like, even you know fucking nailed it. Yeah. yeah, no, um, I, he, I just saw him. He had his two kids in the car, and yeah. um, I literally, we were both, he was walking this way in the parking lot, and I'm walking the other way. And I was getting in my car with my daughter, yeah. and he had his kids in the car. And I, I will, I'll, get, I'll reach out, I'll get to him. Yeah. I'll, I'll put it in his ear. I thought you didn't want to do this either before you. Yeah. You were like, no, nah, I'm good. I don't, uh, like, I don't like, I hate talking. You don't have to talk. This is me and you hanging out. I know. This is all it is. It's pretty, is this is what makes it fun. It's pretty comfortable, right? I want to see what's in your notes. In my notes? I, yeah. not my, I, was, I listened to them. I was like, oh, man, because I have a fucking terrible memory. Dude, I, was I, I didn't do the same thing. Yeah. Why do you think I can't remember what we asked and all the other ones? <laughs> your memory is no better than anybody else's. Down. Or worse. <clears throat> I thought we got to the point where I don't have to write this shit down anymore, but then yeah. I'm like, I really should write this shit down. <laughs> but, um, I mean, to, to like, to like break it on. So like, say you, you asked this question about where he went after your yeah, so like, he hung out with our crew for, yeah, yeah, I don't know how yeah, many yeah. years and so then did, how, did whatever so we you did. Got, and then I was kind of, okay. So let's kind of dial back again. So as you got into hanging out with the industry crew, like as I, just hang out with, like you were already there which is this is what's weird for me like i didn't hang out with any of these fuckers so i skated by myself like since i was like a loner kid mm -hmm. was in some relationship through high school got out of that yeah. and hung out with like carmen all the time and he was just like dude you need to come hang out with all of us yeah, he and that's not big corona i he was over the other day was he? and he's my brother-in-law he's married to yeah, on, my shit. wife's <laughs> sister yeah, yeah 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 and um i was like brian yeah, he taught me how to blow glass and everything. Really? Yeah. yeah. He's a glass blower. He's fucking really fucking good, too. Mm. Uh, but, so, he was like, man, I got some fucking stories. And I was like, dude, like, I, he was like, I definitely don't want to be on that. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. oh, come on, man. He's like, nah, he's like, I don't want to do it. But now I started skating with that. Uh, well, he's another quiz. quiet. He doesn't like to talk much. Yeah, I, I don't either. 
Um, right. But now I started skating at the Amelia one and then moved on to Anderson and then I met, uh, I became good friends with Jordan Clark, if you remember him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Jordan Clark. And then, where the fuck is he at? His dad was a pee- preacher. No, no he was, he was a somebody else. teacher, yeah. right? Both of them were teachers. Jordan that? Clark. No, Jordan's dad sure. was a graphic designer and his mom was like a hairdresser. Oh, no really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I swear. That. Okay. But then I met uh, Garrett and stuff like that, and then yeah, from there. Yeah, you were good um, friends. You and Garrett were really close. Yeah. 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 I didn't know because I hadn't seen all the Beach My Mom movies. I really just kind of shied away from it. Yeah. Um, until I was actually in one, and then um, I, I didn't know, but I guess apparently you've had parts and stuff in there. Yeah. Multiple and dude. I had one, my, the, the biggest one was after like the BMOP thing was over, um, and he did the video. Season's End? Yeah, Season's End. Yeah. Um, I feel like, I don't think I'm on any of those. I uh, like want to say I you have like a trip in one. I feel like, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I filmed for one, and then I don't think No, I because at uh, Beach Acres, there, we set up a trash can, and I think he did a backside heel flip, whatever. Oh, uh, that was in the BMOP 3. Um, yeah, that was, that was in the BMOP 3. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Season's I did, End, uh, I wasn't even, like, I don't know no, end. No, yeah. that was when Andy started his revive crew. Yeah. Um, That was like the beginning. That was like a one. weird in-between. Yeah. Or whatever. But yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of people had to start working, and Andy just, yeah. really, he kept at it. And, um, I mean, he's a fucking amazing now, yeah. so... I mean, he's that the only dude I know that has a skate park in a fucking warehouse. I mean, that, <laughs> that video is so quick, but there was like, there's three tricks in that that I like dreamed of doing for years. So what are they? I did. Um, was it was because I remember I can the, I can call out yeah. that I remember you landing. Uh, that I, want to I always about. wanted to front side flip the. Uh, um, you guys were talking about the pit gap, like the water or whatever. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Um, that was fucking Channels. really hard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did that, and then uh, blunt slide with row. You fucking blunt slide with row. Mm-hmm. Front side or back side? Front or back side. You motherfucker. Yeah. That's crazy. Awesome. Um, you got a really good blunt slide. <coughs> have you asked Andy you, for a copy? You got a really good blunt to 5-0 by the way. Oh, you do have it? Yeah. What's that? You have a really good blunt to 5-0. Yeah, I used to do that a lot. The, what is, uh, fuck. What, I remember being at Withrow and it was, it was, you were actually, I think you were trying that. It was crazy that, um, uh, I was kind of pissed because I did that blunt slide and I was super excited about it and, um, Jeff Silcox, Smith Curran. That's, I was there, that was, was there, like, I knew yeah, you did that. Yeah. That dude, that's I was like, man, that's way crazy. Dude, he did. He but Smith, 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 Smith Curran to one That was like, the trunkiest, shittiest sledge and, yeah, that's way harder. Dude, he's, like, yeah, no, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Then a blunt slide? That's Smith Curran. Then a harder. blunt slide? Are you shitting me? On no. That, on that, on ledge. that ledge, the way yeah. you lock in. Because that ledge really isn't that high. And no, it is. Basically, it's low his wheels were yeah. that high off the like steps or whatever. And like, Andy went to fakie on it. I remember. I I was there that day. Damn yeah. it! I had something filmed there no, that day too. Still amazing. But I think that's I got to give it up to Silcox. I think that's the Smith grind. Yeah, dude, throw. that's. I I hear about Withrow's it. Withrow was fun. They tore the shit down though. I heard. Wasn't um you went to a lot more meetings than me about Beach Acres, but the curved ledge in the back wasn't that supposed to be Withrow. That's how I, I was hearing that Because I, I only went to... too long. We were, well, me, me and him went to all the meetings. Yeah, so I went to one of the very I. first meetings. Me and Josh. <laughs> when they first started talking we about shut, it. We shut fuckers down. Yeah. yeah. Well, the fuck I don't know why I never like, went, because I was really involved with it. And then I know I, I went to one meeting, and I think his name was um, Alex Stevenson, rollerblader. Yes. His mom was He like, was the only rollerblader yeah. there. He was cool though. He's actually a really good uh, tattoo artist now. But he was the one who kept begging for all the round reels. Yeah, like, uh, me, yeah you kept shutting them down. Like, yeah. I don't want that. It was like it's gonna be all like, yeah, okay, uh, you want something, I get it, but like it yeah. caters to you. And but you that's only. why they made the run the one round rail ledge. Yeah. So they which one? Oh, that one. The, the, one, that's, oh, the one that nobody hits. Yeah. The one that's I hard to hit yeah. if yeah. you're a skateboarder. <laughs> if you're a skateboarder, it's hard <laughs> to hit. Because you can't. But I Which just so no Smith grind, grind that, too, yeah. motherfucker. Uh, Matt Coffee wanted to just grind that. God damn, it made that's me feel right. like I'm Matt bitch. Coffee used to skate that big ledge like it was nothing. Oh, yeah. I'd be like, the yeah. hubba? Yeah, yeah, I'm like, whoa. But I was only like, 50 back to that. Weren't you guys originally planning on putting like a with row, like, yeah, there. I don't remember. There that. was supposed to be okay. three phases. Yeah. Yeah. That was supposed to be, to be phase yeah. one. But it was there, but they jammed it. It was probably just a rumor, shit. but I always thought that with you the whole thing was an uphill battle. I'm, I'm telling old ladies, yeah. like, no, this is the most popular thing in the park. You don't get it. I have talked to a guy that literally, um, he has nothing to do with skateboarding, just a random dude, and he lived across from that skate park, and I did a job at his house. Mm-hmm. And I'm in there talking to him. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. Oh, the skate park. I do not. 
It was Sam. a random house. Who? Is it Sam? It might be. I My know. old boss. He actually fought to not have the park put in because he said it would lower his house value. You okay? <laughs> you you may be correct. And Thank I think snacks. that he did say, and he admitted it to me. <laughs> Fuck you, Sam. Fucking asshole. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fuck you, Sam. Kiss my dear house. Yeah. yeah. Um, but he did say, like, look, he's. I, I think he was like, that skate park, when they put it there, that is the most used mm -hmm. piece of property in Anderson Township oh, right now. Yep. He's like, I don't give a shit. He's like, what day it is, there's always somebody there yeah. using that. He's like, that basketball court they put in right next to yep. it? Ugh. Fucking nobody. He's like, they'll maybe in the summer you'll see somebody playing there, but he's like, the volleyball court, never anybody there. He's like, they have a fucking volleyball court. Mm -hmm. Nobody's ever there. Like it's well, my argument is other than all the water the playground. Yeah, for the but kids. even that's only a half a year because yeah. of the winter. Exactly. So, or maybe exactly. a little less. Than even that, even now, like, yeah, I'm not gonna take my fucking kids there now. I was literally telling people at the park board. These older ladies who just don't, they just don't get it. Skaters that I was like, look, I was like, like as long as there's no water or snow, somebody will be at that park. Yep. And I was Absolutely. like, if you put lights at that park, it'll be packed at midnight. Yep. Yeah, that's why they didn't put lights in. I don't know if you remember, I tried to fight for electrical outlets so we could play a radio. And they, yeah. they nixed that. Well, then even all, well, that's before now everybody's got their phones and shit. I tried to get a fountain. I was like, I want a fountain right next to the skate park. I was no, like, you put it fucking way too far away. Yeah, you gotta go skate. It's not too far away, but you're like, Still, I was like, you don't, you don't understand. Fun. I was like, these people are gonna be thirsty and yeah. they're gonna be hot. Yeah. Give them their own fountain. Do you remember when they sprayed it with the anti graffiti stuff? No. Yep, they sprayed the whole park with some kind of like coating. Yeah, uh, yeah, they sealed could, the concrete. Yeah, so you mm -hmm. couldn't graffiti on it, and it was. Did anybody ever graffiti it? Yes, inside yeah. the ball. Oh, okay. They did that. It was shit it was because of that. Yeah, it was shit graffiti too. Like it could have been good. That was kind of that was like, pretty much inevitable. All right, so yeah. you remember Ollie's, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Remember Ollie's being ran. In, yeah. All right, so the small side and the big that's side. The, that's the best one. That was best brand ramp. Do you remember this right here? Yeah, I'll try to show this right here. <laughs> that's gamble. Yeah. So he makes t-shirts now. Oh, it's fucking... His graffiti that was... Does that actually that say gamble? gamble? That says gamble. Oh, okay. But he started selling shirts, but he had gamble was right there on the large side of that two... two de yeah. Unit. yeah. I mean, I probably didn't notice it at the time, but... I right. About. Like, that's how... Well, that's how long yeah. he's been tagging... It's <laughs> looking sucks. around. It sucks planet. that place is gone. You know, that was sad, and that was a Buckeye... Did you read Buckeye Bob's, like, bye-bye about that shit? His fucking uh, poo pooing on everybody. I never liked him. He literally, no, he's an asshole. He's an <laughs> yeah. asshole. He wanted everybody to pay like a fucking. Uh, well, I don't know about the, the owner. He actually lived in the Richmond, but the uh, just all the guys he hung out with. Like the him. old, yeah. Me actually, almost got jumped by a bunch of his friends. Yeah, the fucking dude that wanted his kid to be like professional and skateboarder and then like. Yeah, yeah. Were you there for that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. At the park? You mean like one of those yeah, overbearing parents you see like with no. tennis and golf? No, no. remember the old dude with the knee pads and shit? You remember the old blonde kid that was down? That's the kid we there too. No, we were all there. Dude. We were there today. The, I went yeah. five houses oh, down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if you were there or not. Of course this I was dude there. flipped out at BJ Acres because he thought I laughed at him. That's actually the second time I've gotten jumped because of that same thing. Because he thought I was laughing. You should start laughing at people. I don't know. Uh, you don't remember yeah, this old crew uh, at all with the the fucking bullets and shit. Uh, there's dude. another guy named Bob that had a mustache. Yeah, yeah. he he was. Well, it sounds like I'd be very angry at these people. Oh, yeah. He was the one. You actually, I'm sure you got into it with them. He was the one guy was like an old. I'm a no bullshit dude. kind of guy. So yeah. if a fucking crew of bullshitters comes out. I'm gonna be like, no, no, they weren't bullshit. They were just an older older crew, but then they had their their kids. The one dude was like trying to make this kid like this a fucking superstar. professional, a yeah. superstar. Those kind of people. Drive me up the wall, and I don't have kids, but Even as I, would, I would just let my kid do what he wants to do. Dude, his son was at Skate Tokyo when I went to you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? And he was thrashing that ball. Yeah, he was good. Thrashing it. He was good. Okay. He, had a ball, though. he was doing fucking airs. He did that But ball. I mean, this guy's growing up, and he's trying to impress his father, who's like a little overbearing, just kind of like. Yeah. Well, his, his father, father was like, You're going to do this, you're going to do this, you're going to do this. That's insane. Yeah, the daughter was older and like a little chubbier, but she started.